Listen, dude. No, I don't want them. Jeff. Ugh, Jeff serenading Haley uh -huh. again. I want to touch buds with Sounds like a plan. I want to shoot him in the front. <laughs> Stan, wait. I want to watch. Oh. Stop it, you guys. Look, I told Jeff I'm not ready to date anyone right now, so you don't have to worry about him. Good. Look at him. He still rocks a goatee. Poser ass bitch. This is getting rid. Is there anything wrong with goatees? <laughs> if you're rocking a goatee, you're a poser. Francine Smith said so, and if American Dad says so, then hey, it is what it is. Guys with goatees, you gotta grow them beards out, fellas. <laughs> if hey, stick if you have a goatee, stick up for yourself down in the comments right now. <laughs> don't don't let them don't let them do you like that. Ridiculous. You want me to walk you home again? It didn't help last time. Oh, I know why. He's just trying to help the kid out. If you know, you know. That is a all-time great uh, American Dad episode. What is your favorite Jeff moment? Drop it down in the comments. Whether you see it here in this video or if it didn't make the cut, let me know. And also, what character do I need to do next? Drop that down below as well. I'm going to rape him this time. <sighs> yep. Saw it coming. You know the drill here. You know, I remember a time when this was a safe hallway. I left my door unlocked. Kids played after dark. I could walk home without being scared. Yeah, I don't want to be scared anymore. Nope. Just shut up and give me. Ah! Yo. <laughs> my man Jeff said, I've had enough. Enough is enough. He went full J-Lo and said, enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sticking up for myself. That's how you do it. And then also, he unloaded the clip on Roger. <laughs> he got him right there, right in his big old fat alien head. You gonna get him? <laughs> he shot I wish mom and dad could have seen that. Me too, man. I think I'm really proving myself. Yeah. Me too, man. Me too. This is gonna sound weird, but for the first time in my life, I feel like a grown woman. Me too, man. Me too. Oh, so I think me and Jeff, me and Jeff would get along very well. Like you couldn't have him around all the time because he would get annoying. That's pretty obvious. But Jeff could definitely, Jeff could definitely come through. He could kick it from he, he could kick it from time to time here and there. Son of a bitch! I was supposed to get gas. Did you? Nope. Hey, yeah. Slow down. Hey. <laughs> oh, if I'm not mistaken, he was talking about some gas for real. He was talking about the gas. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh, at least that's what I got from it. Uh, maybe I'm more like Jeff than I think. So Steve snuck out. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. My parents already think I'm a joke. Don't worry, babe. We'll find him. Yep. Steve! What? No, we're looking for Steve. That's my name. What a coincidence. Babe, I don't know what to do here. Did you hear that? Steve and his friends are definitely going to be at that party. Mm-hmm. I guess the only question is, what are we talking about? <laughs> hey, another human! Uh, oh. Stop you clean for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? Son, that thing said, I'll suck you clean for a dollar. Are you, I mean, a deal's a deal, but you don't have to accept a deal or no deal. Howie Mandela, what are you doing? <laughs> you're Howie Mandel. <laughs> yeah, you're Howie Mandel. This thing walks up to you and says, hey, I got a deal for you that you can't refuse. One dollar, I'll suck it clean. Also, that thing probably gives some insane alien guac. I'll tell you that right now. Your rose, throw it out of there. You're not going to need it no more. Fire. Is that Sinbad? <laughs> this is Sinbad. <laughs> Don't move. Don't move. Uh, Sinbad and Jingle All the Way is amazing. 
Sorry to pause it again. What is your favorite Sinbad movie? Drop it down in the comments. Let's go. <laughs> Sinbad. Come on, man, get in. I'll hold him off. I'm not leaving you out here. No! There's too many of them, man. It's the only way. Sorry. That's just not my style. Oh. Ow, my ear. Ow. Come on, man. Get out of here. You sure? Because I think I could be a big help. Oh. Just go. And be known as the guy who left his number one space bud? I don't think so. Please. <laughs> I cannot afford to keep paying attention to you. But. Yeah, he should be gone right now. He should definitely be out of there. Uh, I mean, Sinbad probably isn't your average human being. Sinbad could be an alien. That makes sense. But uh, Or a spaceman. <laughs> a space cadet, if you will. But, uh, yeah, you chop my ear off, I'm out of there. Just the ear alone, I probably would have had to find a way to get on up out of there. I'm not sticking around. I lost an ear. I need that. Ah, got it. <laughs> That's his leg. Hurry, Sinbad! Huh? Oh! No! Are Susie Q's or, or uh, R.I.P. Sinbad. Uh, oh God! What, what what are those called? Those uh, the, the little uh, pink with coconut. Uh, they're they're really good. Uh, Her snowballs? You bastard! I didn't know she was stripping. Don't lie to me, Stone Man. For real? She said she was out torching SUVs. I never. Don't lie to me, Stone Man. <laughs> Don't lie to me, you damn stoner. Never be cool with stripping. Really? Yeah! I mean, I've dated three strippers and two of them turned up dead. And the cops always go to the boyfriend with the van. That's profiling, man, and that's wrong. Well, that's the price you pay for the sweet pleasure of van ownership. Let's go! <laughs> I mean, is that true? Like, do you think that, like, that stereotype fit? Like, it has to, right? Like, if you have a van, it automatically makes you a suspect. Like, you are kind of like... It automatically is just like, watch this guy. You know, like, well, let's just keep an eye on him. I mean, he has... He has a van, so <laughs> it has to be true, right? Roger! That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Tuttle is missing! Roger, enough! I, I didn't do this! I didn't take Tuttle. I took Jeff, but not Tuttle. Not Tuttle. I'll prove it. Look, he's fine. Hey, guys. Roger said I have to stay in the closet because I'm dead. You like it? Oh, animal crackers. They put this man in the closet with an iPad and gave him animal crackers. Uh, he straight went full, full Harry Potter. Just, <laughs> what is your favorite animal cracker? Drop that down in the comments. Animal crackers don't get enough respect. They're classic, classic. Can never turn them down. If so, like, it's like, you don't reach for them. You don't go for them. You never go out of your way to buy animal crackers. But if someone's ever like, hey, I got some animal crackers. You want some? You're going to be like, yeah, hell yeah, I want some animal crackers. To be alive now? Sorry, babe. It's okay. I've got my animal crackers in my bathroom bucket. Now do you believe me? Favorite bathroom stream. bucket. That's Wait. new. Haley, don't say favorite so loud. The other weeds will hear you. Every one of Jeff's answers is marijuana related. It's why they're winning. His only interest is getting stoned. Dad? He's got no job, no future. There's nothing to him besides smoking pot. Yep. Mr. S, you're stressing me out. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Tuttle, let the newlywed hey. game records show my son-in-law has no identity. Hate to be the guy he's mad at. But Haley's also been complaining that you have no identity slash job. Oh, no. Wait, I like pizza. Yeah. Maybe I could get a job answering doors for people who order pizza. Okay. What is the superior pizza? What the greatest pizza of all time? A lot of factors going. It can't be your favorite pizza. What truly is the superior pizza? Drop that down in the comments. Let's let's debate a little bit. Let's have a pizza argument. Like at parties. Or what if I got a job working at a pizza place? I think that might be genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Geeks eat Jeff coming through with the free pizza and also why does he look like Kid, Kid Rock now? Jeff is Kid Rock? I mean, the kids. <laughs> Jeff Rock. Sitting down. Wait, everybody eats sitting down. Hey! Jeff! And it really is, which is why I'm taking Jeff there now. Hey, wanna boogie down the shore for a little bit of sizzle? We talking road trip? Big Bonanza style. Let's go. Out! 
of pounds. <laughs> I'll take this to go, Big Mama. To Flavor Town. Hello. Hey, Mr. S. It's Jeff. Hey, Jeff. I know you're offering 50 grand to anyone who stops the wedding. Uh. What if I agreed to not marry your daughter? I'm taking that offer. I'm sorry. Uh, I am ruining that wedding 100%. I am crashing that wedding. Would you give me the money? Cha-ching. You piece of Francine, please. You're gonna break my daughter's heart for $50,000? Yep. Francine, you're too angry right now. Go buy some nuts and jerky. <laughs> You're buying my wife some nuts and jerky. I'm gonna buy some nuts and jerky, you piece of <laughs> Whoa, $100 bills. Hello, President Shakespeare. You'll find Haley at the Chimdale Mountain Inn. We were right about you all along. I'm sorry, Mr. S. Your daughter and I have just been fighting a lot, and I'm not sure she's awesome. Just say the word. Don't do it, Francine. All I heard was do it. Yeah! Fine. Honey, it's not loaded. Ow. 50K! I'm, uh, they were in on I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> they were in on it. They were in on it. Oh, you gotta be, I mean, uh, they're gonna make it. They're gonna be fine. Jeff and Haley are gonna be fine. Honestly, probably gonna go through that 50K. Probably already did go through that 50K. As you can see, it's season six, episode one, but still... <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I love you, baby. I love you too, babe. Yeah. So, now that we're married, there's something I want you to see. Fire. Fire. Totally makes up for my small penis, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey bros, what's going on? This is Cut My Bath. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Cause subscribe.